Okay, please all rise for a moment of silence and pledge your flag. have a proclamation roll call first, I'm sorry. Bonasek? Here. Ekis? Here. Amo? Absent. Nagvistakis? Present. Benton? Here. Berkman? Here. Benelli? Here. Cheney? Here. Dillard? Here. DeSalvo? Present. Fagione? Here. Hines? Here. Chemnitz? Here. Kulisek? Paduk? Here. Ruskevich? Here. Sullivan? Here. Turnbull? Here. Vera, Wong, Gresham, 20 Here. present, one absent. Okay, I'm going to invite up uh, Minority Leader Chris Ekes, uh, Legislator Curly Dillard, uh, Jonathan Jacobson, and who else, Curly, is that it? Is that your relation of Harvey's? Yes. Okay, come on up. <laughs> <laughs> I know your brother, I think. Jerry? Yeah, you see him at the gym with this guy all the time. <laughs> he used to, he hasn't been there and I haven't been there in a little while though. Okay, Pearl, you want to start? Thank you very much. Um, Alvin Berger, who served 19 years in the, on the legislature, was a very dear friend of mine. Um, actually, Harvey was my mentor, and I worked for him in terms of campaigning in the city of Newburgh. Harvey has always been an upstanding uh, gentleman, and we appreciate the services that he rendered to our city. I have here Ms. Cindy Holmes, council woman from the city of Newburgh, Mr. Jonathan Jacobs, who worked with Harvey for a number of years, and our minority leader, Chris Degas. Please, thank you. Um, I'm Cindy Holmes, councilwoman who worked for the city of Newburgh, and I've known Harvey Berger all my life, and um, he's been a mention to me also. And I tried to get him out here, but it just wasn't happening. He's not very well at this point in his life, but um, I know this is a great honor for him and that he would definitely say thank you all. Harvey had a great influence in, in Orange County. Uh, of course, everybody knows he was the first African-American county legislator. And he finally, once the districts were less gerrymandered, was able to get in. But Harvey's... Um, legacy is not from any one particular piece of legislation. It's because he was here. And the fact that he was here, he made a presence. Because whenever he was in the room, people knew that he was there representing the city of Newburgh, representing people that normally were not heard at the, at, on the county level. And because of that, there was an influence there. Some of the things may not have been his um, his proposals, but because he was there and had the influence. I mean, during his time, there was money there to pay Broadway. Uh, there was the, um, the original Orange County Community College uh, satellite, and as well as the expansion. There were, there were many things that were there that happened in the city of Newburgh because Harvey was here. And he always put a lot of time in. He would help people no matter what. He'd be at all hours of the night, things that had nothing to do with his duties as a county legislator. He was somebody who cared, who cared and cares deeply about the city of Newburgh and the people he represented. He, um, he was a close friend of mine. I went to school with his uh, sons. And um, he's somebody that um, we all looked up to as we were growing up and, and knew that if we did the job as well as Harvey did, we all would be considered a success. So thank you very much for having us. Sure. 
Um, I got to know Harvey very well because uh, for the last two years of his final term, I was privileged enough to drive Harvey to each of the meetings, including the legislative meeting. And I do want to take a moment, and I think Harvey would do the same thing, to thank Mike Pillmeyer for arranging that. It cut down on the number of trips I had to make, at least anyway. Uh, but Harvey was just wonderful. He was also my mentor, uh, obviously, as we drove back and forth, and uh, we had great discussions. What a great man. Uh, I miss him. I wish he was still here. No, no reflection, Carly, but, uh, but uh, you know, he was just uh, fun to be with uh, and a great guy, and he has so many credits, we can't list them all. But thank you for doing this, Curly, for Harvey. Thank you. Uh, Curly, indeed, was a gentleman, a man of integrity, veracity, and honesty. Um, I had the pleasure of coming in the same year as Harvey, January of 94. We served together for 20 years. And he was always professional, and, he, and I don't think I ever heard Harvey raise his voice in 20 years. And he'd be very proud of you, because you have the same demeanor. And you both represent Newburgh only too well. You have, uh, you know, Newburgh at your heart, hearts, you know, because you're one and the same. It's been seamless since you've been here, and uh, it's a pleasure having you here, too, Kirk. And thank you for honoring a man of his stature. Um, you know, he's well known in Newburgh, well respected, and. Uh, we have this proclamation. Um, I'll read the first part of it and the last. A proclamation in the legislature of the County of Orange honoring Harvey J. Berger, outstanding citizen, businessman, dedicated public servant, and retired county legislator, the fourth legislative district. Proclaim that we, the legislature of the County of Orange, on behalf of ourselves and all the people of the County of Orange, do hereby designate this day, designate, excuse me, this day as a day of recognition for Harvey J. Berger and of his devotion to public service and the welfare of his fellow citizens. Of the eminent example that he has set and of the heritage of progressive good works he has bestowed upon our community. And we do further commend these sentiments to all the people of the County of Orange to whose interests and service he is so dedicated. And it's signed by Curly and myself. And the county exec will be doing one soon also, I think. I stand corrected. This is from the county exec. You want to, you, yeah, you're a Newburgh guy. you got to say something. Uh, well, really, it's uh, Harvey Berger and I, we have had a friendship for quite a long time. Uh, when I was chairman of the Republicans in the city of Newburgh, Harvey was chairman of the Democrats in the city of Newburgh, and we used to play with that a lot. We had a lot of fun. Uh, Harvey's son, Jr., Harvey Jr., was my neighbor across the street until he passed away. His widow is still there right now, and she's just a wonderful woman. My, um, my wife and my brother went to school with his, his brother, Ham. We've just been friends for a long time. Harvey lives about three blocks or two blocks away from where I live right now. He's been a wonderful guy. We've had a, a lot of fun over the years uh, with politics. He only made one mistake in his life that I'm aware of. He used to be a Republican, <laughs> and then he switched. But I'm just so very proud to be here today representing the county executive, Steve Newhouse, to talk about a good friend, Harvey Berger, who did so much for the city of Newburgh, a place that he and I both love and care about very much. Early. You, you are really the best replacement for Harvey we could have asked for in Newburgh. Cindy, you keep doing your good job in the city council, and I'm still voting for John Judas, I hate to say it, but... Uh, <laughs> I just want to say, Harvey noticed he got more wisdom as he got older. <laughs> we all do. When the passion goes, the wisdom comes, so... But anyway, congratulations to Harvey, and please convey this to him on behalf of this, uh, the uh, county executive. And I heard Curly used to be a Republican, too, right? Is that true? <laughs> But I used to be a Democrat, so we're, we're about even, I guess. Honestly, everybody's coming out. Okay, thank you all. You want to say some final word? No, nope, thank you again. For, appreciate it. Okay, I'm going to call up, I guess, John Bureau for a presentation with Steve Knott, or to Steve Knott. Okay. County exec showed up. You hear? Harry took the word. Harry took care of your stuff. <laughs> you did a great job last night. Let's leave it at that. <laughs>
Even 25 years is a long time. You've been the director. Uh, Orange County is proud to have you. We have a 20. That's 25 years, Ken. And he's also a neighbor of mine right around the corner, our banker. So it's an honor to uh, present this 25-year pin to you. And uh, don't go anywhere, sir. 25 to go. Yes, I hope so. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'd like to congratulate you, Steve. Great job. There's not too many people to make it at Farm County uh, as a county employee, but uh, great job. You, you, uh, it looks like a little ruby in there. Congratulations. You want to say a few words? Uh, Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I'd like to Shannon, Shannon, I, I want to thank her for last night saying that. I must have started county government when I was two, so I appreciate it. <laughs> Probably broke a few labor laws there early on, but thank you so much. Um, no, it's been a uh, good 25 years, been in the same department, uh, started as a fiscal person, moved my way up. I'd like to thank uh, Steve Newhouse for keeping me on and, uh, you know, moving along. Um, I'd like to think we've helped some folks over the years, become employed, um, thank the legislature for your support for all these years, and uh, we'll keep moving forward. Hopefully we can uh, fill some jobs. Thank you. signed up? Oh, oh, go ahead, Jim. You want to say something? Oh, okay. Okay, oh, we do have, uh, okay, it's Lawrence Rossini regarding Beaver Dam. Oh, that's after, I'm sorry. Okay, um, any referrals, withdrawals, or consents? Lee? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I'd like to request at this time that item number 19 on the agenda, uh, the bond resolution authorizing water system upgrades at Thomas Pool Memorial Park, stating that the X-Men uh, estimated maximum cost thereof is $526,000, and appropriating the said amount, therefore, and authorizing the issuance of $526,000 in bonds of the county to finance the said approach, the appropriation be withdrawn from the agenda and referred back to committees. Second. Okay, do we need to take a vote on this, Antonio? Any objections? Okay, good, withdrawn. I was told that we had to vote on it, but okay, that's good. Okay, where are we? Yeah, communications, A, receiving file, B, receiving file, and C, receiving file. Okay, numbers 1 through 28, is that Melissa? You didn't, okay. All right, yeah, this is, you didn't label it like you usually do. Okay. okay, we're ready to go to number one, I guess, right? Okay. You want to read it, Jean? Legislators Purdue Bureau. Resolution confirming the reappointments and appointments by the County Executive to the Orange County Human Rights Commission. Discussion? Uh, Chaplain and Katie? Over the years, uh, proudly, we have placed a greater emphasis on our Human Rights Commission and giving accolades to students with our annual dinner so I think that uh, it, it's the right way to go because I think uh, we should make it a stated goal of this legislature to make sure that there's respectful treatment of all of our different communities in, in Orange County. Uh, the people that have been presented before us by the county executive all seem to be uh, qualified and better. But I'd like to also, so that's why I'm supporting this resolution, but I'd also like to thank Mr. Daniel McCann who's in the audience uh, during your tenure on the Human Rights Commissioner, I understand you have a perfect attendance record and uh, can't beat that. And I know that you've put a lot of time and energy and uh, I hope you feel complimented because I think I was the one that was the most curious about your appointment in the very beginning, but I think you uh, proved to the world that you have a, a, a record of, of appreciation for human rights and diligent work on behalf of the people. I hope you re-engage uh, somewhere with government. Katie. 
Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I'd like to echo the sentiments of my colleague to my left, Mr. Berkman. But I'd also like to recognize that one third of the Human Rights Commission will not be returning to this particular position. Uh, I anticipate that those four new individuals that we will approve on the county executive's suggestion today will rise to the challenge and follow in some very big footsteps. So I, too, would like to thank the first vice chair, Daniel McMahon, for his years of service to the Human Rights Commission. And I would also like to thank the second vice chair, Kara Dorsey, who also worked very, very hard to make that commission a success, especially with their annual dinner. And it does not go without saying that these two individuals will be sorely missed, Rabbi Scafidi and Rabbi Schwab. They were the glue that kept that commission together. And they were a pleasure to see their efforts and how they addressed everything so responsibly and so eloquently. So for the four individuals that will not be returning, I thank them very much. Very vocal. Bonasek? Yes. Ekes? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Turnbull, Vera, Wong, Brescia. 20 eyes. You want to make a correction, Katie? I absolutely want to make a correction. <laughs> Although, I guess Jeff Berkman is rubbing off on me. Did you say, you said Rabbi I said Rabbi, yes. I thought I didn't hear it. Please. So please correct the record. <laughs> Thank you. I'm right up to Liberty tomorrow, I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, thank you. Number two. Legislators Berkman and Fagione. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Youth Bureau to accept additional funding from the New York State Office of Children and Family Services pursuant to section 99-H of the general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Discussion? Yes, Chris. Okay, absolutely. Okay, anything else? No? Okay, roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Ekes? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulasek? Padut? Briskevich? Sullivan? Turnbull? Vieira? Wong? Brescian? 20 eyes. Okay, number three, local law. Legislators, Legislators Bonasek, Hines, Chemnitz. Local law introductory number six of 2015, a local law entitled Orange County Ethics and Disclosure Law. Second. Discussion? Yes. Chris, here. Thank you. Um, this has been a law which has been ongoing for a long time, uh, and there's been phenomenal changes made to it. And what I want to do is I want to thank everybody who worked on the committee to do this and obviously having an open mind to go through the changes and I find this local law to be completely acceptable at this time and I believe it will do exactly what it's intended to do and having said that I know that all the Democrats would like to be sponsors of this. The Republicans do? Yes. And Legislator Benelli? I too would like to extend my thank yous. Uh, this has been a long and arduous process, as Legislative Ecus has said. Uh, this was over a year in the making. I, I think we've made some monumental steps with this, and those steps would not have been made without the expert advice and guidance of our legal counsel, Antoinette Reed. And I would like to sincerely thank her on behalf of the entire legislature and myself personally, uh, when I was uh, reassigned to chair rules, this was one of the things that I was tasked with. And I have to tell you, she was just so incredibly helpful. And it was a pleasure working with her. And I honestly don't believe that we would have seen this come to fruition if it had not been for her help. And also the help of the individuals that sit on the Board of Ethics. They were at every single meeting. Uh, they contributed it. If there were a few that were there, there was always somebody representing that board that was there. And also our colleague that has uh, left this legislature on to other endeavors who previously chaired rules, Dennis Simmons. 
that was how we started this whole thing. And for those of you that aren't aware, we actually held special rules committee meetings. So unlike other committees, rules met twice a month in order to bring this for, to fruition. And to actually every single legislator, because whether you sat on rules or not, there was always other legislators that were in attendance and contributing to the process. So I am very grateful to be part of such a active legislature when it came to this very important law. So, thank you. Thank you. Yep. Briefly, I'd like to thank everybody on the committee. I served on that committee as well. Katie, uh, you did a fine job. Dennis, before you, Dennis Simmons deserves an accolade. And uh, Antoinette, you were uh, the guiding force, so I appreciate it. I think it's, it's a living document. We'll make changes from time to time, I suspect, I expect. And uh, we can take pride in the fact that we took a big step forward. Erna. I too am proud to have been on the committee and found that the changes we made were really looked into very carefully and the wording that is before us right now is very scrutinized and I think it's a fine law and I hope that it becomes a model for the villages and the towns that are in our county. I too would like to thank Antoinette for all the diligent hard work she did on this and, and the Rules Committee. And Chair, Chairman, uh, former Chairman Dennis Simmons and Katie Falk shepherded it right along after that. We spent a, a long time on this, made sure everything was in there and it uh, doesn't preclude us from tweaking it you know, within the next year or two if we have to. But uh, I'm proud of the whole legislature for having input on this. So, roll call. Ron? Yes. Ekis? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulisek? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Turnbull? Vera? Wong? Brescia? 20 eyes. And number four. Legislators Benelli, Amo, Bergman, Bonasek, DeSalvo, Hines, Kemnitz, Kulisek. Resolution recommending and or authorizing the county executive to dissolve the Orange Valley View Local Development Corporation. Second. Discussion? Yes, Minority Leader Ekes. Uh, thank you. Uh, it's a shame that uh, Mr. Newhouse is not here with us today, although he was here moments ago, but I know that Harry will carry the word on to him, that um, obviously I'm pleased and a number of us are pleased that this particular uh, LDC is being dissolved. Uh, my words to the county executive is we don't need to ever again waste time or effort or taxpayers' money on something like this. Let's talk it out. Let's talk. Um, and with that being said, I was so pleased to hear last night in his budget speech about Valley View remaining county owned and run. And uh, I was also pleased to see in his speech on the budget uh, several new ideas, possibilities, including senior housing on uh, property adjacent to it, the medical facility. Um, I also know that we have Myrna Chemnitz who's looking into actively forming a foundation for Valley View. These are the types of things that we obviously need to do um, to make Valley View uh, in perpetuity county owned and county run. Uh, obviously, some folks have misgivings about whether, you know, the type of uh, uh, payments we're going to get from the state and the feds will keep up with the costs, but it will if we come up with these new ideas. And I encourage anybody else, if you have an idea, to help out Valley View to bring it forward. Let's talk about it. Let's work on it. Let's do it together. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. I know the Republican caucus was out on this issue also because we didn't want that cloud hanging out there with uncertainty for the uh, for all involved in the county. Um, we do have to look at um, keeping costs down at Valley, continuing to do that. We're doing that. Uh, Legislator Agnes Nakas mentioned in the outside afterwards that we we talked about the senior housing and the other options over at Valley View, and we did. And I'm glad that the county exec is on the same page as all of us. And, you know, we'll talk about it as a body. I don't think we need an LDC if we decide to sell property over there or if we decide to, to uh, lease property for long term. We can just do it. You know, we, need, we know we need the 14 votes. <laughs> so um, I think we all are going to have good ideas just like we did on other measures. So. 
Matt, do you want to? And then Roseanne? Yes. Roseanne, Jeff. Does everybody want to be added? Okay, everybody's added. Thank you. Roll call. Yes. Ekis, yes. Anagnus Dacus, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Fagione, Hines, Kemnitz, Kulasek, Padu, Kraskevich, Sullivan, Turnbull, Vieira, Wong, Brescia. 20 ayes. Okay, number five. Legislators Bonasek and Kemnitz. Resolution of the Orange County Legislature establishing and reporting the standard work day for appointed officials to the New York State and local employees' retirement system. Second. Discussion. Roll call. Bonasek, yes. Ekis, yes. and Agnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cheney, Diller, DeSavo, Fagione, Hines, Kemnitz, Kulasek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Turnbull, Vera, Wong, Brescia. 20 eyes. And number six. Legislators Bonasek and Kemnitz, resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Planning to accept and appropriate funds as a subcontractor to the Orange County Department of Health pursuant to section 99-H of the general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Honestly? Yes. Ekis? Yes. Nagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Fagione? Hines? Kemnitz? Kulasek? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Turnbull? Vera? Wong? Brescia? 20 eyes. Number seven? Legislators Benton and Nagnostakis. Resolution authorizing the county executive to enter into, into an agreement to provide assessment services to the town of Newburgh in accordance with, with real property tax law, section 1537. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Ekis? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Fagione? Hines? Kemnitz? Kulasek? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan, Turnbull, Bureau, Wong, Brescia, 20 eyes. Number eight. Legislators Benton and Turnbull. Resolution authorizing the private sale and conveyance of certain county owned lands acquired by reason of a failure to redeem said lands from a tax sale to Orange County pursuant to section 10184 of the real property tax law and Orange County amended local law number two of 2010. Second. Discussion. Yes, Mr. Chairman, can I request that uh, number one be broken out separately? Our uh, one of the members of Ways and Means had to abstain uh, that day. Yes, yes please. Uh, that shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Okay, which one first then? The other two? Blooming, Blooming Grove and Walkill? Okay. Vote on the Blooming Grove and Walkill portions. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, let's vote on Blooming Grove first. Okay, roll call. Blooming Grove. Bonasek? Yes. Ekis? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Fagione? Kem Pines, I'm sorry. Kemnitz? Kulasek? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Turbo? Vero? Wong? Brescia? 19 eyes, one abstention. Okay, now Newburgh and uh, Walkill, excuse me, roll call. Walkill. Bonasek? Yes. Ekis? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Fagione? Hines? Kemnitz? Kulasek? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Turnbull? Vera? Wong? Brescia? 20 eyes. Okay, number nine. Legislators Benton DeSalvo. Resolution providing for a public hearing on a proposed Orange County budget for the fiscal year 2016 social services district purposes and upon the assessment rolls for Orange County Sewer District Number 1, Orange County Small Watershed Protection District Number 1 for Cromwell Creek and Beaver Dam Lake District for such fiscal year pursuant to sections 271 and 359 of the county law and section 4.06 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Okay. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Ekis? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? No. Benelli? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Fagione? Hines? Kemnitz? Kulasek? Paduk? Ruskevich? 
Sullivan, Turnbull, Vera, Wong, Russia. 19 eyes, one no. Okay, number 10. Legislators Benelli, Kulisek, Benton, Hines, Turnbull. Resolution authorizing the Orange County Executive on behalf of the Orange County Department of Public Works to approve an application for an increase and improvement of the facilities of the Beaver Dam Lake Protection and Rehabilitation District. Thank you. Discussion? Oh, uh, Jeff. For those that live in that area, is there any local government um, participation or acknowledgement or or consent or requests on any of this? Jeremy is in the audience. You want, to, you want to ask him to come up and address this? I'd appreciate it. Do we have a uh, microphone there? I'm, I'm Larry Rossini. I'm the chairman of the uh, Beaver Dam Lake District Board. Uh, Beaver Dam Lake District is a part county uh, municipal district, uh, tax district, uh, essentially. Uh, so with respect to local government, if you mean the town governments, uh, the uh, three towns that the lake is situated in uh, are not really directly involved with any of the operation or management of the lake district. It uh, falls entirely under the county. Uh, under the administration of the Department of Public Works. And uh, <coughs> essentially the, uh, uh, the district board is, but district board is elected uh, by the, uh, it was established in the late 1980s when the district was formed and uh, the board members are elected by the uh, residents within the boundaries of the district uh, during an election that takes place uh, in December each year. The board members serve a three-year uh, term uh, with seven members on the board. Uh, the um, uh, very well-respected Lou Casino Sr. is uh, the vice chairman of the board, has served for many years. Uh, he was a former uh, commissioner of public works for Orange County, who, by the way, just turned 85 about two weeks ago. He was out splitting firewood on his birthday. <laughs> uh, but um, in a sense, we, we operate as the uh, uh, as an advisory committee to the Department of Public Works, but again, we're elected uh, uh, by the uh, district residents. Thank you. Chef, anything else? Chris? Um, Larry, thank you for that. I want to thank you for your volunteering to do this. Uh, um, I appreciate it, and I know you've done it for a while now, too, So, and you're highly respected in that neck of the woods. Um, I also wanted to let Jeff know that I can tell you that the town of New Windsor is aware of what's going on. Uh, Eric Lundstrom, one of the uh, town board members, lives right there in that district. And then, obviously, Kevin Hines has led the way, so I'm sure Cornwall knows, and, and Matt Turnbull then also. So, um, and then the final thing I want to say is I hope that uh, somehow you can find a way to assist uh, Beaver Dam Lake. I know you're looking at it residents uh, by getting that, was it a $900,000 grant? I know it's got things tied on it, uh, but I hope that some, yeah, I hope that you can clear that. Thank you very much. Okay, roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Ekis? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulisek? Paduk? Miskevich, Sullivan, Turnbull, Biro, Wong, Gresha. 20 eyes. Okay, number 11. Legislators Kulisek, Turnbull, Benton, Benelli. Resolution making an appropriation to the 2015 Orange County budget for the Orange County Department of Public Works pursuant to section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Question? Jeff. Yeah. yeah, I'll be brief. But part of the reason why I asked the question is because perhaps the sewer district could use the model that the gentleman that just spoke on the last vote, uh, do we have, could have a citizen's advisory uh, for the Orange County Sewer District. I've been very uncomfortable with the fact that we haven't had any progress on what I frequently call the democratization of the sewer district. I don't live in the sewer district, and yet, and most of us don't, but yet we're responsible for it to provide funds for it. I, I understand it, it were reimbursed, but I'm just quite uncomfortable with the with the 
with the uh, arrangement. And though I don't have a problem specifically with sand filters, which is on the agenda, I do have a problem with governance, and that's, I'm basing my no vote uh, in support of public involvement of those that use the district. Ms. Murder. I do live in the district, and I would like to advise everybody sitting here on the podium today to read what we as the county are obligated to do as the owners of that sewer district. And the law to read is local law number four of 2008. I'll repeat that, it's local law number four of Orange County of 2008. It tells you how we own it, what our obligations are, and what we must do. Thank you. Okay, Katie. Thank you. Thank you. It's interesting because I often look back on my political career and realize that one of the reasons I got involved as a homeowner had to do with water and sewer. And here I am again talking about sewer. For 10 years, I was a supervisor in the town of Blooming Grove. Blooming Grove, we were one of the movement communities belonging to the Harriman Sewer Treatment Plant. And I can totally relate how Jeff would like to compare this to the Beaver Dam Lake, which was also a little part of Blooming Grove. Well, I would like to see that comparison as well. But there's a lot of intricacies that have to be taken into consideration. You have the mood to communities, you have Orange County Sewer District number one that came after the fact when they were building all of this. But just to address Jeff's part of all of this, it's not necessarily an easy fix because in order to bring it under one umbrella, there's a lot of legal and tax issues that have to be taken into consideration as far as who paid what for various different capital projects. However, what I would like to note, and I've said this before, this full legislature, and Myrna can attest to this as well, is that when I was supervisor for those 10 years, we had monthly meetings. They were very well attended by members of the county as well as the surrounding communities. When I became a legislator, I was like, what happened to these meetings? Well, we've tried to have them, but nobody shows up. And that has continued, except for Myrna and I. And occasionally, so I think Mr. Cheney, um, not when I was there, so I, I forgive, and I'm sure that various different times other people have come. But as far as the consistency that I saw back in the 90s, that's no longer there. We're trying to revive that, and I agree with you, Jeff, and I have continued to tell Mr. Pete Hammond, well, if it's only Werner and I, well, let's just have that meeting. <laughs> so um, we're trying, and, and I agree with you, and hopefully, the local municipalities, except for probably I should recognize Mayor Perriman, Steve Welly. He's a pretty faithful one as well. So um, hopefully they'll get their act together. But this is a project that's obviously very well needed. Uh, it's something that will prepare for the future. So I would ask that you also put it. Thank you. Senator Salvin. Yeah, I just want to, uh, first time I'm talking up here and uh, Mike's not there. Uh, I want to agree with some of my colleagues, uh, but I want to urge um, everyone to vote for this. Uh, the, the politics on governance could take a decade or longer. It sounds like it's been worked on since 08. So uh, the plant still needs to get the work done. And you know the waste needs to get cleaned and flow downriver. And uh, having uh, being able to represent Harriman, it's a constant issue. So let's spend the money to fix our infrastructure. Thanks. Thank you. Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Ekis? Yes. Nagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? No. Benelli? Yes. Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulasek? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Turnbull? Biro? Wong? No. Brescia. 18 eyes, two noes. Okay, number 12. Legislators Ruskevich, Benton, Turnbull, Cheney. Bond resolution dated October 1st, 2015. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing intersection improvements on county roads located throughout the county, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 100,000, appropriating said amount therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 100,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Thank you. Okay, it requires 14 votes. Uh, Shannon? 
I'd like to be added as a sponsor, and I just wanted to point out to members of the legislature that this is the um, bond that will allow the traffic light at the intersection where the Goshen community lost three of our students. So, and I'd also like to be on the record and thank Chris Vibrock and Steve Newhouse for putting this on as a top priority to ensure that um, that intersection was made safe and we had no more fatalities. My girls started the school year three students short, um, and it's been a difficult time for our community. Thank you for pointing that out, Shannon. That definitely puts a couple asterisks and that's next to it. Okay, roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Ikis? Yes. Anathnistakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulisek? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Turnbull? Bira? Wong? Brescia? 20 eyes. Okay, number 13. Legislators Benton, DeSalvo. Resolution dated October 1st, 2015. Resolution of the County of Orange, New York, amending various bond resolutions to reduce authorizations for unissued bond amounts. Second. Okay, two thirds vote again. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Ekis? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz, Kulisek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Turnbull, Biro, Wong, Brescia. 20 ayes. Number 14. Legislators Benton and DeSalvo. Resolution allowing the Department of Finance to close and transfer unspent revenues from bond proceeds for various capital projects. Second. Okay, discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Ekis? Yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulisek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Turnbull, Biro, Wong, Brescia. 20 eyes. Number 15. Legislators Benelli, Benton, and Hines. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Public Works to implement and fund in the first instance 100% of the federal aid and state Marcaselli program aid eligible costs of a transportation federal aid project and appropriate funds therefore and enter into supplemental agreement number two with the New York State Department of Transportation to amend the existing agreement for engineering, right of way and construction and inspection of Taylor Road Bridge pursuant to section 99-H of the General Municipal Law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Ekis? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulisek? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Turnbull? Vero? Wong? Brescia? 20 eyes. Okay, number 16. Legislators Benelli, Benton, Hines. Amending bond resolution dated October 1st, 2015. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, amending the bond resolution adopted August 2nd, 2012, in relation to financing the cost of replacement of the Taylor Road Bridge located in the town of Cornwall at the total estimated cost of 1,996,770. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Ekis? Yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulisek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Turnbull, Vero, Wong, Brescia. 20 eyes. Okay, number 17. Legislators Turnbull, Benton, and Benelli. Resolution dated October 1st, 2012. Resolution of the County of Orange, New York, amending various bond resolutions to reduce authorizations for unissued bond amounts in relation to various Parks Department capital projects. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Ekis? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulisek? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Turnbull, Biro, Wong, Brescia, 20 eyes. And number 18. Legislators Ruskevich, Benelli, and Benton. Resolution allowing the Department of Parks, Recreation, and Conservation to close and transfer unused revenues for various capital projects. Second. Discussion? 
Roll call. Bonista? Yes. Ekis? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulisek? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Turnbull? Vero? Wong? Gresham? 20 ayes. Okay, 19 to withdrawn, 20. Legislators Benton and Ruskevich. Resolution authorizing the Orange County Executive on behalf of the Orange County Department of Public Works to enter into an agreement with the New York State Department of Transportation in connection with highway work permits. Second. Okay. Discussion? Roll call. Anasek? Yes. Ekis? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulisek? Paduk? Ruskevich, Sullivan, Turnbull, Vera, Wong, Russia. 20 ayes. Okay, number 21. Legislators Turnbull and Vera. Resolution authorizing the county executive to accept a proposed right of way dedication parcel in the town of Montgomery. Okay. Discussion? Yes, uh, Chris. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to, uh, we had a question about this in my caucus, and I just wanted to clear it up. I talked with Chris Bybrock about both Resolution 21 and 22, and it's simply, uh, it's kind of paperwork is what it is, legal paperwork, so that we are sure as a county to have right away, and that way nobody can build on it or do anything else with it, and so on like that. Now, if you took a look at these, uh, as I did, you'll see that they're not necessarily straight and just 25 feet off center line, which is typical. The reason why they would not be straight is because we actually have some culverts. The county owns some culverts out there, which won't make the line exactly straight. So I just wanted to explain that to anybody who was not aware at this point in time. Thank you. And it's, I'm glad Commissioner Bybrock's out getting out ahead on this, something we probably should have done a while ago. So, okay, roll call. Yes. Yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulisek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Turnbull, Vero, Wong, Gresham. 20 ayes. And number 22. Legislators Kulisek and Turnbull. Resolution authorizing the county executive to accept two proposed right of way dedications and a permanent easement in the town of Montgomery. Second. Discussion. Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Ekis? Yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulisek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Turnbull, Vero, Wong, Gresham. 20 ayes. Okay, number 23. Legislators DeSalvo and Ekis. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Emergency Services, Police Services, to accept and appropriate grant funds from the State of New York Governor's Traffic Safety Committee pursuant to section 99-H of the municipal general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Yes, Mike and then you want to be added, Jeff too? Certainly. Okay, Jim, you want to be added? Okay, roll call. Anasek? Yes. Ekis? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Yes. Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulisek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Turnbull, Vera, Long, Brescia. 20 ayes. And number 24. Legislators Bonasek, DeSalvo, Benton, and Hines. Resolution authorizing the Orange County Department of Emergency Services, Police Services, to transfer funds from the general fund to restore Alive at 25 revenue pursuant to section 4.10 of the Orange County Charter. Thank you. Discussion? You want, Jim wants to be added? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Matt, you want to be added or do you want to speak? Okay. Business. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I really like uh, programs like this. Uh, I just wish I had something like this when I was a teenager. Uh, please add my name. Perfect. Roseanne, you want to just be added? Okay. Okay, roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Ekis? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Benelli? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulisek? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Turnbull? 
Bureau of Law, Brescia, 20 eyes. Okay, number 25. Legislators in Agostakis and Chemnitz. Resolution authorizing the county executive to accept a certain gift on behalf of the Department of Residential Health Care Services pursuant to Section 215 of the county law. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Honestly? Yes. Ekis, yes. Nagastakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kosek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Turnbull, Bureau Wong, Brescia. 20 ayes. Okay, the last three, um, the Democrats want to be in all? Yeah. Okay, Republicans too? You want it to ask? You can. You'd like it? Okay, so granted. Okay, number 26. Legislators Bonasek and Ikes, resolution of the Orange County Legislature designating October 2015 as Dome Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Shannon, Shannon, okay. So. October, as y'all know, is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. I believe we received an email with a variety of activities that we could attend. So I hope that all of us take the opportunity to at least attend um, one event. And I wanted to point out that the Safe Homes Dinner is right after our public hearing, um, and it's at Villa Valencia. So we could just go right from here to there and support um, the domestic violence service provider. Thank you. Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Ikes? Yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kosek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Turnbull, Vera, Wong, Brescia. 20 eyes. Okay, number 27. Legislators Amo and Ruskevich. Resolution of the Orange County Legislature recognizing October 14, 2015 as White Cane Awareness Day. Second. Discussion. Roll call. Bonasa, yes. Ikes, yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Turnbull, Vera, Wong, Brescia. 20 eyes. And number 28. Legislators Bonasek and Vera. Resolution of the Orange County Legislature recognizing October 2015 as National Disability Employment Awareness Month. Second. Good discussion. Roll call. Bonasek. Yes. Ikes, yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Turnbull, Vera, Wong, Brescia. 20 eyes, Mr. Chairman, and the desk is clear. Okay, Lawrence, you want to come back up again? Lawrence Rossini, you've already been here, Dan. Some of the uh, uh, 
loose ends and issues that uh, haven't been dealt with in many years. So uh, uh, the lake has been the best it's been in, in anybody's memory, really. Uh, we've seen a 70% a increase in the use of our uh, beach facilities this year, which, uh, uh, again, with the support of uh, Commissioner Vibrock and his staff, we've been able to uh, get uh, a lot of the weed and algae problems squared away with the lake, and uh, conditions have been very good this past year. Um, with respect to communications uh, to the various uh, town officials and as well as uh, several of our legislators, we do have a community email list that uh, we're able to communicate with over 500 uh, email addresses uh, um, within the community as well as I know several of the legislators are on that. Uh, uh, Kevin Hines, uh, Matt Turnbull, Katie Vanelli, and uh, I think you've been added to the list uh, uh, lately. Uh, and anybody else wants to be on there, we're happy to, you know, pay the postage, uh, so to speak. The town supervisors in the three towns, as well as many of the town board members, are also on that list. So uh, we, we do communicate. We have had uh, uh, probably more communications in the last uh, four years than uh, have probably happened in the last 40. So uh, the word is out there. With respect to governance, we're, we're um, uh, the district operates under uh, rules that were adopted in 1991 by the county legislature, uh, rules and bylaws for the board, as well as local law number 8 of 1991, which actually governs the uh, administration of the district, just as a point of information. And it's worked very well. So again, thank you for your help. Thank you for your support. I look forward to being back here soon when uh, the controller's uh, office is, uh, has approved everything and uh, uh, we're on to the next step. Thank you again. Thank you, Lawrence. Uh, before we adjourn, uh, Physical Services Committee Chairman Barry Cheney and Jim Kulisek, legislator from Newburgh, invite everyone to for a tour. When is it? Um, Wednesday at 9 a.m. at Algonquin Park. I couldn't make that, so I made my own tour the other day, and Lee got, guided me through by phone, so I did my tour. Thank you, Lee. Motion to adjourn.